selling me clothes, hoping for selling me plenty. If ever I live for a soldier again, devil shall be me sergeant. Poor old soldier. <laughs> Right, ladies and gents, yeah, um, my quizzy present, because the old uh, Santa wasn't going to visit me because I was very naughty last year. Uh, so uh, I treat myself for Christmas and an absolutely dibble of the century got myself a Carrymore SF Sabre 75. Absolutely mint, don't even think it's got a bit of mud on it. Uh, the price was just unbelievable. You've got to get yourself on that Facebook track. Um, uh, trade post, um, which quite trade post, get some brilliant uh, gear there. Obviously, at this price, there was no way I could expect, even in my wildest dreams, it would come with side pouches. Now, I've looked side pouches for this uh, 40 to 45 quid in the green. I've got some green army ones I could just stick on there, they're a bit manky because they come off a of PLC Bergen. Uh, but you know, I just thought, hey, oh, let's have a do it now. Carry more, absolute top of the range, not a great deal needs to be said about carry more. Um, but so I was presented with this problem, side, um, it's got three straps, so I've just taken them out so we can see, three straps going over, they will come into play on the other side when I do the other pouch, and I'll tell you what, an absolutely brilliant bit of kit is a, a, a side pouch that goes behind the pouch, now here we have the standard uh, really chunky zip, and uh, obviously just, just so you can see what I'm on about, the PLC pouches go straight onto that. Obviously, this is a DPM one, and for me, it's just wrong to have DPM and green. I'm trying to get away from DPM, DPM anyway. Got these uh, rather cheaply off somebody. I think it was Edel. Um, but they have lent itself to my project, which is getting all the buckles off. So I've got all of them and unpick one and got the zip off it okay uh, you'll see 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 that as, as we go along so ladies and gents i had this idea i've got this space okay uh two clips here two clips there three restraining straps and the zits and i thought well i could just unpick that and make another one but i thought why why bother doing that let's do a uh, a mac edition pouch now i'm just gonna make myself um a side pouch for this and the other side that one's going to be of a different design because it's got a different purpose so i'll get rid of this and i'll bring you in because there are a load of people especially on facebook said matt just just do us a little um how to or show us what you're doing as you're doing it uh because i'm like proper crazy <laughs> uh but just uh but you know i like the idea that i can improve carrying more <laughs> anyway bring you back in a sec ladies, right, ladies and gents now using this pouch uh because it's probably about the right size and so forth. Um, but as I looked at the Bergen, I decided I can get the pouch uh, longer. Uh, the zips will still be the same area, but it will just go down maybe four or five inches longer, okay? This has a sort of a, a round base to it, but I just thought, no, don't overcomplicate it, just make the bottom square. Uh, we're not looking for anything flash or fancy. Um, so, in short, ladies and gents, and I couldn't film this as I was doing it because I was, like, proper on this. The thing with sewing, once you get infused about something, you've got to get it done there and there. Otherwise, it just becomes one of them projects that you'll get round to next week. So, there's nothing here that you haven't seen in any of my videos before. I started off with a flat piece of material, and then I sewed it up into the box shape, okay, using the triangles. Now, uh, you've seen that all before. I couldn't film this last night, and I just had to get on and done it. This, actually filming it now, is just because I've seen a comment from one of the lads on Facebook that, you know, that goes with another comment. Okay, so it's a flat piece of material, okay. Um, on the inside, because you have to do everything before you all sew it together, I put a little pouch here, and it's double lined at the bottom, uh, just so I can slip things in. Um, keep things away and easy to get at and that's at the very front of the pouch uh, as we turn it over then you can actually see now and I'll just make sure that's in shot oh, it's not going to play now is it yeah I am in shot okay I'm not going to move the camera about too much uh, the side pouch is longer as I say I can do it with the length of the Bergen than your PLC pouch. Now that that'll be 
as I say, about four or five inches longer. So when the outside was flat, okay, um, I sewed on Velcro. That's so that's my lid is going to be a, a click fast one. I'm not going to do the zip. I just don't really get, just don't like the zips, uh, to be perfectly honest. Uh, so I thought, right, so that's just the outside pouch, and that's not too hard to do. You're not going to get any brownie points with doing that, um, making a longer pouch. So what I thought I would do is make this a bushcraft side pouch, and I've just kind of made that up at the moment. Uh, on this side, you will see there is a purposely sewn on, so I'm not increasing the actual width of the pack. These two spaces are there, but never used by anybody, if that makes sense. So you're looking at the side of the pouch. The zip will be along here. Make sure I'm in shots now. And what I thought I'd do there is put an axe pouch. Uh, and I'll bring you back, I'll show you the axe going inside that. So that would just be the side of the pouch, okay? Uh, and I thought I'd put a little axe loop in there um, to fit an axe on the side. Uh, and that's just as a bonus. So like I say, this is your bushcraft side pouch, not your military one. So ladies and gents, it doesn't take too much to say that's a loop sewn on there. I've sewn in a little bit just to make it a little bit tighter. Here we see some uh, military grade webbing. So that will go on there. Again, this is a long flap, so no matter what height or width your axe is, it, it, it will be able to take uh, and uh, the axe and come over. But that's probably the, the only real axe I'm gonna be carrying, that or the uh, Moira one. And as we can see, ladies and gentlemen, comes over really really nicely and the side of the big pouch okay uh, will have the axe on it ready to use you know and, and uh, always to hand doesn't scare the natives too much either like that and again anything I'm I would normally put in the pouch or put it on the outside I'm increasing capacity as well for me if you're making summer <laughs> I like the idea of improving something that's carrying more <laughs> no ladies and gents so Coming round, I'll keep the front simple. Anything you put in the front is going to bring it out and you're going to make, you know, your bergen too wide. So uh, why not, as I'm doing it, ladies and gents. And again, this is a simple pouch, a simple, make sure I'm showing you, a simple box pouch that I sewed up. Got the length right. Again, I want a proper Fastex clip on there. This lid is a lot wider than the actual um, thing to, so nothing's coming out of that sucker. Because what I, would, I will be putting in here, and this is just the knife I used uh, as a guide. So on the other side of the side pouch, I have a little custom made pouch for uh, my knife. And I really, really like that because I'm not scaring the natives. And uh, again, anything on the outside, one is to hand. You ain't got to go unpacking the zips and, you know, the tops of your bergens and all that. It's just there and it's to hand. And bearing in mind, when you look at it, that's the side, that's the side, that's the side of the thing. I've not made it any wider, I've just used the, um, a little bit more uh, width that way, which is easy to do. Um, and as I say, I'm using a Fastex clip, so what you've got to do, anything on the inside you've got to sew on. All of this has got to be sewed on what before you're flat, and you cut it up into, and sew it into the box fashion at the side there. The lid is what I'm going to go and do now. The lid's going to come over, Fastex, and to stop stuff coming out, I have, because uh, I find it annoying, do you know when that, that flat just flicked up all the time? Some Velcro there, and Velcro there. Uh, and ladies and gents, it literally is not that hard um, to do. If you've seen any of my previous videos, uh, making a simple box pouch, watch that, because that's exactly what I've done. Uh, again, turned it in, sewed it over. Let me turn it round. Yeah, Linking good idea there. Um, and I've got a, an axe pouch on the side. Obviously, it's open at the bottom, so if I wanted to do a longer axe at some point, I can do that. And that has plenty of movement in it, as we'll see, look. You know, as you can see there, so the taller your axe, it will still fit. And I'll just put a little bit of elastic in there just to keep it under control. Right, ladies and gents. Uh, bottom of the pouch, no need to do anything to that. Like I say, the lid, I'm gonna go and do now. But on the inside, You'll see I've just put a pouch there. Why would I put it there? Well, because I can, because I'm building it myself. And uh, obviously the only thing I've, I've yet to do now is the back. So I should be doing this now as opposed to doing the film. I've just kind of run out and done it. Um, so this will be the back of the pouch. And as we see there, I'm not going to do anything complicated on the inside or the outside. But when I sew it together, the zips will have to come in about there to there. Remembering that bit of the bottom doesn't need the zips either. And uh, so it's going to be two at the bottom 
uh, sorry, two at the top and two at the bottom. That's the top there where it will click into uh, the two clicks at the top. I'm not sure if I'm going to put two at the bottom because I don't think I'll need them. Not with the zips and the um, the horizontal straps that go round. There's one thing I've got to do, and you'll see I have marked it off here. Uh, this this one, this side's better. You'll see that's the bottom vertical strap, and that's the the next one up. So what I'll do is I'll sew a piece of material there. So so even securing it, it'll be secured to death. Is the horizontal straps will come round the outside of the berg and again uh, keeping that um, firmly and solidly on my pack so the next thing I need to do is it would be I don't know, I'm get the knife out just give it a sec and my axe and again just makes everything really really easy and accessible uh, when I'm Eventually, made my lid. That's it on the inside out. Pull my straps out of the way, ladies and gents. I will literally sew that inside out. Membrane, I'm going to have to put the zip on the inside so it comes out. So I've never done before, but not too technical, not too difficult to do. Um, make sure I'm in shot there. And again, push it all inside out. Hey presto, very cheap. Bushcraft, uh, carry more pow uh, pouch. <laughs> and carry more. I now have uh, the patent on this. If you, uh, you know, want to use this, give us a shout. <laughs> I'm sure we can come to some arrangement. <laughs> no, ladies and gents, there's a beauty of making things yourself. And uh, like I say, I went ahead with this last night. Just I, I, I was all the way till about, well, I, I passed 11 at night, you know. I was listening to Kev's chat. Uh, uh, wild calf break, uh, camping like he does a, a, a chat there and just sewing up while I did that with my headphones on. But yeah, so there he is ladies and gents, I'll bring you back once I've uh, done a little bit more of it, maybe tomorrow because I don't know about the light. So anyway, just, just to keep you um, infused, that's going to be one side pouch, okay? It won't matter which side it goes on because it will be indistinguish uh, you know, in interchangeable, okay? So that's there, uh, I made it longer, I've got a knife pouch. Because we all like sharpy things out of the way so we don't scare the natives and cause alarm, harass, harassment and distress. And an axe pouch on the side. Um, but for the other side, what we hear here is, it's a Belgian army uh, roll mat. Uh, and it's one of the best ones I've found, got it, again, quite cheaply on the bushcraft trade post. You really do need to get on there. You have some right little blinding results. Um, normally people will carry this at the top of the Bergen or the bottom of the Bergen horizontally. Um... And I don't like the idea of that. So what I'm going to do, just give us a quick moment. It's just a little teaser. Not quite preparation because this is very much off the beat. Let's make sure that's in there again. Yeah, you can basically see that's the uh, side of the Bergen. And there's the horizontal straps I was going on about. Um, so on the other side, I am going to make a purpose-made bespoke pouch to have that and my foil mat at the side. Um, and I'm just going to do it as simple as possible uh, and as you can see it's long enough to do so uh, but this will this the actual pouch I'm going to do uh, will just be secured onto it uh, with the side pouches not the zips um, it gives me the option um, to another time make a another side pouch so I've got two Kador ones but that's what's going to go on the side of the Bergen most people put it in a little plastic bag or something or you know nylon bag and put it on there I'm going to do a purpose built pouch on that pouch it will have me pegs here and uh, all me uh, ropes and you know tarp lines and stuff like that because I'm building it I can build it to how I want it and it's going to be a fold down top as well but ladies and gents that's probably a tomorrow job so I'll bring you back on that ladies and gents right. ladies and gents uh, brought me back it's now the next day obviously to take me boss Mrs. Tightwood out for she wanted to go and see that Churchill film which was good by the way and uh, then out for Chinese we're having a few days off so the lady gets what she wants back to the old pouch now um, again I'm not a lover of zips because when you're out in the field if the zip breaks you you're done you're finished like you know you can replace a clip you can even sew it sew a new one on or, or take one from a non-vital area but the design of this bag is to re replace the actual um, side pouches on like that posh carry more bergen so ladies and gents here you can see just make sure i'm in short there's the back there's the two top clips not putting them on the bottom because i don't need and just as you'll see now because i can because you're making it yourself yeah uh i've just it's about that much longer which is about you know finger uh 
longer than a normal pouch. Normally these finish at the bottom uh, of one of the standard uh, carry more or inventory pouches. But ladies and gents, oh what a pain. So here we see, you know, the good, the bad and the ugly. Um, this one, checked and checked again. It's perfect and it goes on and it zips on, okay? Um, obviously the military zips and the carry more zips, well, uh, they're all interchangeable. But again, there's this one, so it's, the problem was, and I had to think about it, was how to get both zips on the outside. I'll turn it inside out in a moment and show you. I'm going to unpick one of these. Uh, so I've gone over, put it on, that one works. But this one, sadly, it's not sadly, it's just the, the way it is, and some a little heads up for you, check and check again. And then, guess what, check again. Um, absolutely fantastic, but that bit has got the nodule that stops that coming down there, this one just needs, this should be at the top and that bit should be at the bottom. So I'm going to have to unpick this and then just sew it up again. Which shouldn't take too long but a um, bit of a pain to be honest. Uh, and uh, if you're showing somebody how to do something, yeah ladies and gents, with the zips, uh, unpick and uh, you know, um, sorry I meant check and check again. But uh, obviously, I'll show you, it's easy to show you how you get the zip on the outside. Um, it may seem look pretty simple but even on that I've had to really make sure it's easy to muck it up and sew the inside the wrong way round if that makes sense which I nearly did once so yeah um, zips are on the back then ladies and gents okay um, just if you check and then recheck again it will save you a lot I've got to do now yeah um, <clears throat> uh, just to unpick that and then sew that up again uh, all a learning curve shall we say but so that you spend a little bit of time, go back, check, zip, check, check, and uh, what I would do next time if I was doing this, I'd just get some chalk, mark one and the other with a bit of ch you know, and one at the bottom with a bit of chalk. So again, just so I know which way they've got to go round. Because uh, I will forgive myself, there's not a great deal uh, to tell you that that one should be at the top there. So again, uh, learning experience, I would mark it each one, which has got to be at the top of the Bergen. Uh, so that would have a bit of chalk mark on it and that would be at the chalk mark and they would both tell me that them bits should go to the top that's an easy way around it to stop it happening again um, a few people on page, Facebook will be going ooh, 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 a couple of private messages can you make me one ladies and gents um, you know I don't think this is uh, commercially sort of viable to do because you can buy the carry more patches for about 20 to 25 pound uh, there's one place I've seen you can get the two for 40 um, contact left. By the time I unstitched the Bergen, uh, material, uh, you'd have to buy two new zips. Obviously I've repurposed these and the clips. Uh, yeah, very nice to have a pouch like that, but the time that goes into sewing it up, if I, even if I just said £5 an hour sewing up time, by the time you, you totted that up, it's just not commercially viable. Um, again, is a Somebody said uh, you could just make them and flog them out, but yeah, you know, I don't think people would pay the extra for four inches. Well, a lot of blokes would pay a lot extra for four inches, wouldn't they? <laughs> so you can't help it, it's a bit early in the morning. Uh, and what is natural facts, an axe pouch on the side, and you know, I, I say a knife pouch, but that's, that's fine. But obviously, as you can see there, for the flap, I've just left that, because that's the bit I'm going to sew onto the flap, ladies and gents. So again, when you, when you actually, you can see the line there, when you actually do the height of it, Make sure you leave a little bit on, otherwise you're going to be scratching about trying to sew it onto there. So that's just a, that's going to be sewed like that, and that will be the, the top flap where I sew it onto the the bottom. Uh, sorry, the top of the burden. But anyway, yeah, that's far. Uh, made a little boo boo. Probably rushing about because I had to get out the door last night. Uh, well, yesterday afternoon to take missus to the pictures. But yeah, so uh, bring you back. Then, All right, ladies and gents. A short while later. Uh, carefully unpick that and I always use a, a surgical blade for that it's really really sharp um, again this material here is almost like cloth so that's a lot easier to cut into so just be careful when you're unstitching if you're doing any unstitching obviously just a little bit of orientation for you here we see the outside of the pouch and uh, just uh, whether it goes that way or that way up check and check again ladies and gents but just uh, um, show you how you get the zip in that's the outside and the teeth bit you want on the outside okay so what I will do with this and I'm not going to sit in front of a sewing machine and, and show you me just going digga 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 digga, and it's just not that dark uh, that needs to get sewn in so you do not see the zip okay so when you turn it inside out just make sure I'm in shot obviously the zip that you want is on the outside so it just bears uh, a little bit of thinking about yeah 
um, it's quite easy to sew it up and you know the zips on the inside of the bergen where you don't need it so i shall go back place that in and i'm going to go and check again because that, that's um it can go that way or that way and this is a thing you're going to have to check and check again and when you check it turn it the right way out because that's what i did last time just guesstimated it um when it was out you know inside out ready to sew up and uh, yeah it's uh, cross transferable um, so yeah, so literally that's the last bit. Obviously I've sewed up round the bottom. That's the back piece. On the back piece, I might tell you now, just because I can, because I'm making it for myself, I put another little sheath in there and double lined it at the bottom. Um, I like to be able to go in and there's one at the front of the pouch, which I'll show you later on. But just important, make sure I'm in shot again. Uh, when we go to sew the, the sides up, zip goes in and the teeth face away from you. And then I'll just pull it all together and sew it up. What I find is is to uh, just go in under the sewing machine just to get this perfect. I will just sew the zip to that side. And then obviously it's in place. It's a lot easier to do because you're not holding three things. Then the next time, and it'll give it a double row of stitching as well. Once that one side to that side, I'll just completely come down the side again. Um, so yeah, just be careful with that because it's... Just needs a little bit of thinking about and uh, check and check again. Yeah, right, ladies and gents. Uh, after one more sew up, because I've uh, got it wrong again. <laughs> just can't emphasize that as much, ladies and gentlemen. So putting the old side zips in, make sure you check and check again. Um, it's quite funny. When it's, in, it's inside out, they're reversed. So when you turn it the right way out, they're the wrong way round, if that makes sense. But anyway, um, I'll, I'll cover that point. Uh, here we see the. Uh, it's all in view, yeah. The pouch looks quite humongous, but what I will say, it's longer by about a finger four inches than the normal side pouch, but it's not as sticky out as much. It's shorter by about an inch, inch and a half, so looks can be quite deceiving there because it looks like a rucksack in itself there, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, um, here we go. There's the zips. <laughs> And the other one on the other side. Yeah, it took three goes to get it right, ladies and gents. There you go. You know, I'm not here to flufferize anything. Uh, it was a bit of a pain, to be honest. Uh, and I'm just quite surprised. Um, I don't deafen Jeff because one of my dogs gets, uh, when I get a bit, uh, he, uh, Mr. Baldrick, he don't like it and he goes and hides, so I don't do that. Um, or if I do, I'll get him on my lap and cuddle him. But obviously, as you can see here now, there's a knife pouch. That's away from my body, and this is a bit to my body, so that's where the, the axe is, and the axe will be coming away from my body, <laughs> even though it's got properly sheathed. And uh, obviously that's me uh, strap for putting the lid on, which I'm going to do next. Here's the knife pouch, but also, ladies and gents, as you can see, um, I'll do one, because this will be the time to do it. Hopefully I've got these sized up correctly. Again, the zips are uh, uh, enough, and as we, we will see here, put the two top clips on uh, so and that and the zips would be enough to hold it but uh, again just to make sure it will do something properly because this is the way one of the ways and the fixing system I'm going to do for the pouch on the other side uh, so I'll sew these two little loops on and I've got bits of cotton hanging from everywhere so I haven't had a tidy up yet uh, these are the ones that go round and again to help secure the pouch closer to the Bergen and the other one round the bottom will go through them two holes let's just see if that's going through there yeah that's no problem and go through that buckle so it's attached in 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 the normal way and uh, obviously if you want to get it off quick No need to put the two at the bottom, could have done I suppose, but just a, a waste of effort. Pouch on the inside, two clips and the uh, two zips. Uh, yeah, as I say, it's been an interesting uh, event getting them to be this side, the right way out, and then the right way up, because they will invert. 
Uh, I can't, I'm just going to get back that and crack on. So as we can see there, because it'll be last time we see it, there's a front pouch where I can slip stuff down and there's a back pouch that I can slip stuff down if I wanted to. Um, if you're building something, just build it as to how you want it. So now, uh, now I'm, I'm fully happy with that. I'm going to go down, reinforce that side stitching down that one and uh, reinforce uh, the side stitching down there. Okay, so a little bit there. Again, just check all my stitching and have a little bit of a tidy up all the way around. So, and then I'm going to go on to the lid. Uh, you know, and I'll bring you back for that, ladies and gents. Phew, got the zips in. Right, ladies, uh, ladies and gents, uh, we're back now. Uh, all that fracas with the zips is now done. Um, so, in short, I'm going to make uh, the lid of it now. And uh, what I want is a, a deep edge all the way around. Um, so that was six inches of material and I've doubled it over. I'll just leave the sewing little strip there because when I go in now uh, I'll do it back to back. Remember material to material. Make sure I'm inside there because if you do that it's just going to come out the wrong way. Always material to material okay. Uh, give that a slight inch there. Sew that down the side then pick this up and sew that down that side okay. So as we see and then I'll sew that and bring that down that side so when I turn it inside up it will be it's going to be hard to do in a way something like that yeah that's going to be at the top and that going down the sides try and so I'll just show you that there therefore there's my lid um, each end to each end and remembering I'm going to sew some 50mm wide web in there because I can't, I can't stand it when the, the, the flaps start digging up and so forth. So um, literally that's exact measurements of the top. Again that's going to be the back, side, front and side. And uh, I'll uh, I say sew around that side. Sew it down that side. And again sew it once you turn it around down that side then turn it inside out it'll form it'll form the pouch or the lid of the pouch right here we come back uh, and as I've done uh, just sewed up the lid now that's going to be the back and that's going to be the lid as I said I sewed it all the way around remember you get surface to surface so my boudicca is just joining me um, and you sew down along and along okay so once you turn it now inside out the right way up you will see oh and I've got Baldrick down in me as well I now have a nice pouch let's do that a little the lid for my pouch the buckle the buckle go in there um, and underneath each side I'm going to do a square velcro just so to be able to once I close it down they'll just contact the velcro ain't nothing no sucker nothing none of my kit is coming out of this um, pouch I thought about doing a snow lock but I've never really got on with them um, and you know they can be quite annoying because that's another thing you've got to open to get your kit out and I don't add a great deal of waterproof into your kit to be perfectly honest uh, so there I go ladies and gents all I'm going to do now just to uh, tidy that up a little bit so down there so down there and uh, so down there and next time you see it I'll have put the uh, velcro on because once you do that it does actually sew that bit downstairs in, on the inside as well thinking about putting a pouch on top for a bit of first aid kit you know like a first field dressing don't know see how I'll, I'm going to have a, a stinky cigarette and think about that it's my pouch and I can do what I want with it. <laughs> and while you're building it yourself and you're taking the time to do so, um, you know, you just do what you want to do. But there's certainly enough room now, I would imagine, to a pouch uh, on top just for a military Israeli first field dressing. Always nice to have, really, really handy on a Velcro. Yeah, yeah, anyway. So there you go, ladies and gents. It's not too hard to uh, form the actual uh, lid or your burger. And that's the inside, obviously. That's the outside where my buckle will go, and that's the top. There's a lot of space there, as long as it's not too high. Yeah, anyway, um, I'll have a little think about that and bring you back, ladies and gents. Right, uh, ladies and gents, troops, uh, what I decided to do, not put a patch on the front, don't I? I'm just messing about with ideas. Plus, there's another thing, I'm going on an overnight tomorrow, I've got a pack tonight, I'm losing the light, and uh, 
you know, I've got plenty of places for a first field dress, and that wasn't a bad idea. So, since I've seen you last, I've obviously sewn around here, makes it very box like, okay. I'm not sewing down the sides, but underneath there is the corresponding uh, male part of the hook and loop, or as we British call it, the velcro. That's going to be uh, the back of the pouch, and just because I can, because I'm making it myself, rather than sew that buckle to there, was hanging over, I just done myself a little flap. Uh, just to pull down and so forth and uh, that's where um, me uh, strap, me retaining strap is going to go okay the other ones have back with the zips on and that I just prefer this because you can cinch down if you haven't got a lot of um, stuff in the pouch and so here we go is the the pouch what I will now do is back to back pin that and then sew it round so when it comes over it's got a nice a nice finished edge like that and I'll go down the back of that so once I've done that and I've attached that to there that is the pouch done um, has been quite enjoyed doing it uh, but as I say the zips just uh, working out which way round they've got to go and then which way up they've got to go was a bit of a pain ladies and gents but hey -ho, that's why you watch a tutorial so you're going to have a heads up on that mark the ones with a bit of chalk um, you know the tops of ones and the bottoms with a bit of chalk. Uh, so, ladies and gents, that's the uh, top flap. Well, it looks like a hat, doesn't it? It's like a bit of a corker. <laughs> um, so that will be sewn onto there. That will come over. And obviously, as you can see there, as it comes over, uh, it will have a piece of velcro um, just securing the side. So every time I open it, I just pull the velcro. Stop in. in anything getting out of the sides of your pouches obviously you can have vital kit in there and uh, obviously it keeps the it keeps it weatherproof i can say rainproof because this stuff's water resistance but it's not waterproof anyway i'll, I'll uh, get back to you show you the finished article Boom. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen it's finished uh i've got to um, just go around with the lighter and get me little bits of cotton and so forth but here we actually see the actual uh, as other people are calling it, Mac Pedition side pouch for me posh new carry more Saber 75 or whatever. Um, an experience doing, like I say, I won't mention the zips because I've already covered them, but just wanted to do uh, something different, something unique, and something as I think is kind of bush cars related, um, rather than just buying the military kit and then just kind of getting on with it so ladies and gents what you see I have done here and in between I tell you what it's only about that bigger than the normal side pouch which I think I've got enough it goes still the bottom of the Bergen's about there so use that space uh, everybody wants a number four inches later don't they uh, inside here I'll just stuff something in there because I'm losing a lot I've got to do this quick is uh, I've just stuffed uh, um, a sleeping bag is actually a sleeping bag in here if these are normally 20 litres I'm gonna go this is about at least 38 litres um, but here we see the training straps that go around the side. I'm not going to talk about the zip so I'll just have to go and <laughs> have some more cannabis or something like that. No, I'm joking though. No. Uh, again, two at the top. Don't need the two at the bottom. Don't, don't, don't want them. As we'll see here, this is going to be a, a, a sheath for carrying a, ni a knife, your field knife securely. So you can get at it quickly if you don't want to be carrying it on your belt. And uh, an axe pouch on the side. So that's really all I've done is lengthened the side pouch by about four inches uh, and uh, put a bit of closing system on it I think because uh, here we go there's the zip like I say I'm glad I did that now it only took a few minutes to do put a little patch on that and when you want to open it pull it right open and as you can see ladies and gents I'm not oh, you know you know me integrity is good there's a proper lightweight sleeping bag in there uh, well what they call a three season sleeping bag so that will come down lock out keep anything inside of there there is nothing coming out of this, uh, this pouch over the sides and uh, I'm just doing it roughly now make it all pretty low on I've got plenty of adjustment on that buckle I mean that's a pretty pretty solid solid bit of kit right so ladies and gents let your eyes be a guide on this because uh, I can because I bought it for myself there's uh, shot roses knife um, in it this is probably the longest knife I've got uh, can just go in there and if that's my longest knife, it's going to take all the rest. Again, I could have a silky saw in there, a Laplander, whatever. Always something you want to be able to get hold of uh, sort of quickly or without too much fuss or aggravation. And as I say, because it is your knife, that th uh, the actual lid, uh, the flap is a lot about 
an inch, half inch either side a lot wider, so when you pull it down, there is nothing getting out of that sucker, ladies and gents. Sod all is coming out of that. As I'll turn it round, so we're looking at the top here again. Oh, this is a bit I like. And again, if you're going to make something, uh, make it yourself. A little bit of a strain in that uh, elastic on there, that is military grade. And there's a hole down the bottom, so it's only the length of the axe. That's uh, uh, a Swedish for uh, Grunsfors Brooks, don't know which one. Uh, and because that's away from the body, okay, that's that's the zip to the Bergen. This is where I've done it in because you have any sharps, obviously, away from the body. I'm not even going to contemplate telling why. So that elastic holds that in quite securely there. And that probably would be enough, really. But you know me, if you're doing summer, do it properly, ladies and gents. And again. That will pull down there and that is going absolutely nowhere that is in there nice and solid and like i say um that's the back of the bergen and that's the side okay so even if this falls or something no way i know it's got a nice sheath on there and all that type of stuff but no way is that going to be if i fall backwards that's the way i'm going to fall back ladies and gents so that's all good and like i say no matter what axe you're carrying uh, it can be a lot taller yeah, you can see that basically Trying to do this off the hoof. It can be a lot taller, uh, the head of the axe, and it will just all you need to do is just adjust that to where it was needed and it will pull down. But there we go, ladies and gents. Pull that down, that is going absolutely nowhere. Not to say if the axe protrudes out the bottom, that's fine, it's not a problem, is it? So there we go, looking at the side of it. Two retaining straps because them straps will come round. Uh, got the velcro on the sides, which I like. I hate, you know, when you see a flat when it all starts doing all this and going. Sorry, it starts uh, doing like all that and it's not coming down. But no, there's a bit of velcro. Once I've pushed it down, locked it down, like I say, there is nothing, absolutely nothing coming out of this sack because I've done the sides there. Right, ladies and gents. Uh, Again, apart from sitting you there and boring you to death, uh, watching me like did it, did it, did it, did it, did it through the sewing machine. Um, if you can use the sewing machine and you're going to attempt doing this, I wouldn't say this is a first project, no. Um, but yeah, if you're uh, a little bit determined like I was, I wanted to get it done. And that's just one side, ladies and gents. I'm going to do the other side, but I'm not going to get it done now. Um, got to go in and have a bit of tidy up of my sewing area and my kit because Mrs Tightwell says I'm not getting no nookie until she's I've cleaned up all my mess so I'm going to have to go and clean that up like straight away even before I finish my coffee but ladies and gents because I'm out tomorrow so you'll see this attached to the side of the bear gun uh, me and Mark Smith were going over the old uh, uh, the lake Pete's air gun farm uh, just over an overnight I've asked a few people but everybody seems to be busy or it's probably my personality or you know I'm not on hygiene uh, so You'll see this tomorrow, actually attached to the Bergen. There is a, uh, well, how do you improve a carry more rucksack? <laughs> Give it to Mac Tightwood. <laughs> Longer side pouch, a little bit bigger capacity. I'm going to tell you what, it doesn't look like it, but this, the actual um, military side pouches would come up to about there. So I've just pulled it in a little bit. This side, um, I've got all that room for nothing. Uh, there's always a space between the Bergen and the person and the outside and the person. So we'll see what that looks like on. And uh, again, I'm going to end it here because that's how I've built it. That's how I've done it. I've done it because uh, a lot of guys, as I put a few pictures on the old Facebook, said, ooh, so do a show and tell on that or whatever. Uh, so hopefully that's okay, gents. If the light's not really good in here, I can't really help that because it gets dark about, you know, half past 3.20 to 4 now. But on that, take care and I hope that's uh, been of use to you. Bye.